we have a lot of synergy between the other groups. We do wind power, one of our other groups designed wind. We do landfill gas, landfill waste management, solid management, one of our groups designs solid waste and landfill gas. We're combining those groups to capture more work in the industry. With the acquisition of AEG, it puts us number one in solid waste. I'm at one of their sites in Arizona. It's at Arizona Public Service site at the Palo Verde Nuclear Station. That generates more electricity than any other facility in the United States, over 4,000 megawatts. Palo Verde is unique because it's the only nuclear power plant not located on a body of water. Uh, therefore, all the water is pumped in from the city of Phoenix in the surrounding communities. And this wastewater is pumped 60 to 90 million gallons a day and used for the process in the plant. And this water is disposed of in these ponds and evaporated. Since 2010, AEG has been lining the evaporation ponds at Palo Verde, totaling over 3,100 acres of geosynthetic layers. In 2013, we acquired Parkland Pipeline, an oil and gas company in Canada. Parkland is doing a job in Canada now for ADCO, Norma Pipeline Project, numerous kilometers of underground pipe. We currently produce now in Canada roughly 3.5 million barrels of oil a day, expected to grow to 6.7 by 2030. Our pipeline infrastructure for export only comes in around 3.4 million barrels, so the need for pipeline growth will be substantial over the next 10 years. The oil sands industry up in Alberta, Canada is very water intensive and one of the services that Tetratech provides them is managing the tailings water, treatment of tailings and recycling of tailings which is very important for that industry. And this is not just in North America but worldwide. It's a good example of the nexus between water, energy and the environment.